All right, this is going to be a video of this 42-inch can arm brand ceiling fan. I got it at the Habitat Restore. I got it because I volunteered there, and basically what I do for them is going to put fix fans in line. They receive a donation. I mean, they will present them all around better than how they originally were. Anyway, uh, I actually don't know the model of this because it's not indicated anywhere. It does look a little bit like a uh, Catalyst 2, just with a different light kit and with uh, polished brass accents instead of being all plain white. I have actually seen these before in all polished brass. Uh, however, I, um, again, really don't know the name of it. I will, uh, demonstrate it for you here. And start with the light kit. See that works. I'm using, uh, one 60-watt equivalent energy saving fluorescent bulb, and then two 60-watt standard incandescents. And I'll turn that off, turn the fan on, and start with the high speed. Judging by the, uh, black piece of tape up on one of the blade brackets, it's probably going to go somewhere around maybe 175 RPM once it fully speeds up. Maybe 180, give or take a little. It is actually a pretty fast fan. It also uh, pushes a decent amount of air. It does have some bearing issues, like the bearings are definitely uh, audible on this when it runs. But they're not too bad. Definitely manageable. I'll switch to medium now. It's probably going to go somewhere around maybe 150 RPM, maybe 145. And finally for low, which will show with both the uh, fan and light on. This is going to go somewhere around maybe 60 uh, to 70 RPM. I'll turn everything off. Out the blades here, and I'm going to talk about some general information on it. Uh, the fan itself, as you can see, as is flush mounted, excuse me, uh, it's probably indicating that it was installed in the ceiling about eight feet or less. Another thing um, about this fan is the original safety cable was cut. I really don't like when people do this because it's an essential safety feature. Uh, if the mounting bracket were to come loose, that's basically what will prevent the fan from falling on the ground. I did repair that, however, so now the fan is much safer than it was. Alright, now I'm going to talk about the uh, pros and cons. I really like the light kit on this fan. I think it's uh, quite unique. The globes, as you can see, just twist off. and There we go. That's basically how I put them on, just uh, twist them. And um, that makes for easy cleaning. That's definitely a pro. Another thing I like is the polished brass accents, because I think it makes the fan look a little bit less plain. And finally, I think the uh, motor design is quite contemporary, and also the build quality is uh, not too bad overall. What I don't like, however, is the blades are just white on both sides. I really would have liked if they um, were to put some kind of a stencil pattern on one side, uh, so you could reverse them for different decor options. Uh, but as you can see, they're really no difference. Uh, another thing I don't like is the bearings, because they are kind of annoying. Uh, they're not terrible, actually. I've definitely had much worse. However, um... Uh, even after a ton of oil, they're still quite bad. And these yellowed pull chains, I really don't know how they yellowed, uh, probably being in close proximity to the um, bulbs for so many years. But uh, holding up to the white fan, as you can see, definitely not the same. Overall, I'd probably have to give this a uh, 4 out of 5 stars. I really actually like the look of it, though it does have a couple cons. It's a pretty good fan overall. And if you could um, please tell me the model, that would be much appreciated. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And there's lots more to come. I'll just uh, give a quick close-up of the motor here. See that? Nose on the top. 